All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. To the jab now, no good. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Anderson's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Rockham shock him out of the shoot here. Nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Anderson. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. That is a thudding leg kick. Oh, Superman punch. Nice kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Choi. And both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful strike. Choi gets stung by that leg kick. This is the one that's gonna break him. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop him. You gotta defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Close guard. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Anderson. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Another shot lands upstairs. Lands another punch to the head. Oh man. Final seconds of round one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
Five minutes in the books. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Big kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Right hand punch for the clinch. That was a nice strike. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. All right, so a near perfect entry there. And finally, he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence pays. And that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns. He tried to fix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Back to his feet. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. All right, single collar tie now. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He's a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice punch lands over the top. And he landed the right hand there. Body kick is blocked. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow on the ball. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. They continue to exchange. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Just out of range with the big right hand. Hey, he's off balance. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, a huge block there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. Oh, powerful double leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Korean Super Bowl. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Choi. Under a minute now to go in the round. Anderson gets back up, no surprise there. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. 
Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Straight right is there. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body shit. Seconds winding down in round two. It's a good right hand right there. And that's the end of round number two. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his right. corner. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Kick to the body by Anderson. Good punch, Lance. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. And there comes the separation now. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Punch is blocked. Anderson's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Right hand on point. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Joy gets caught with that punch. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual thing. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook for all the things that happen in this position. The person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Head kick lands. Under three minutes remain in round three. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, side control now. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, or just get the ground and pound. Can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Wild attempt with the right hand there. He blocked the punch. Punch over the top. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Oh, that kick is good by Short. Oh, oh time. Fantastic take down land. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. 
Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Close guard. Both fighters back to their feet now. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Joy gets hit with a kick. Pretty good right hand. Real sneaky body kick. Nice punch by Anderson. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's out of pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Swing and a big miss by Anderson. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Check that kick as well. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Good stick. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Nice entry into the finish, the ref. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Joy's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Anderson. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Three minutes to go. Nice right in. Both fighters get up now. Ooh, what a punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice. And they separate. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Nice punch, man. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. How good is that right hand? Sneaky head kick. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, 
Nice sneaky head kick. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Great action to get to that kick out. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Right on the button. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Nice leg kick. All right, less than a minute here to go in our fourth round. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, nice jab. Oh, nice head kick. Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch there. 30 seconds to go now. And they separate. Nice straight punch. Back and forth we go. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Stop, All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. And, man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting. This is pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit fighters. And it shows in the way they're approaching round number two. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that one. He's just being more aggressive. And because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. That right hand landed. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. He is going after that overhand right. Oh, man, look at that picture. Perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound from him. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue. Hits on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was King Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt really bad. And this guy has the opponent hurt very badly again. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, right to the mouth. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Oh, that right hand is on point. 
Good combination of jabs for him there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get Take down, cut him. Take down, cut him. Over and over, he secured these takedowns. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, there absolutely. You well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, hit kick blocked, though, by Choi. Wow. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Clean with the right hook. All right, he engages in a single tie here. Judo throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Ron and Paul here are if you're gonna go to submission. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight, and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking, and that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up, and that show tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Play the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho Chong. All right, nice.